Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martridge. This is your outlook for February 4th, 2015. And we're going to have a nice warm day actually today. This is going to be, uh, this is actually sarcasm. It's going to be warm, but uh, just warm compared to standards that we had of late. Uh, where temperatures are going to be above freezing across most of the coverage area here. And uh, temperatures might even reach 40, especially the southern areas here down by Philadelphia over to about York and South Central PA into Delaware and South Jersey. So 40s, long time since we've said that. But uh, we have this area of low pressure here that's uh, sitting up here in uh, southeastern Canada about to move into uh, New England. A cold front associated with that. This cold front is going to come through in the overnight hours. This is an Arctic frontal boundary. Uh, we'll have some uh, increased instability along the front here. We'll provide some uh, a quick burst of snow in the overnight hours. Uh, GFS is not too thrilled with this as it moves southeast, and uh, but it, it is fast enough to pick up this area of low pressure here and take it off to the northeast here, so we would not have a, a big coastal storm here developing along the coastline here for Thursday, but uh, your frontal boundary moves through here and kicks this thing out. But we do have some light snow showers here that are showing across our coverage area here, and that comes through in the overnight hours. We're going to go over the NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar. This is a little bit more aggressive, and the NAM has been more aggressive with this. since so it's more of a mesoscale type of uh, uh, snowfall here with the instability in place here. Here is Wednesday evening. Some snow showers across our far northern area. So this is going to get going a little bit early up there. And as we go through the overnight hours, you're going to get a band come through with this Arctic frontal boundary. And that's already starting to form here from northeastern PA all the way back down to about Harrisburg here. And that's going to continue eastward. And you can see uh, some pretty heavy snowfall rates as it comes through. It's going to be like a two-hour band here. This isn't, a big, uh, this isn't going to be a big deal. Uh, but it does move southeast. And, that, and the new, new NAM has this going all the way down to Philadelphia before it starts to dissipate and fall apart across New Jersey. So... I could see, I could definitely see here up in these areas here, especially across northern PA, up in this area here, getting in the one to two inch range. A little bit further south of that, a coating to an inch, uh, maybe just a coating down here by Philadelphia and interior uh, New Jersey and central New Jersey anyway. Northern New Jersey should get about the same as east central PA here with the coating of the inch. And uh, we're expecting that in the overnight hours, probably between noon, or excuse me, midnight. Ooh, long time of day. Midnight. And about 6 o'clock in the morning, maybe a little couple hours after that here in South Jersey. So that's it for that snow, and that's out of here. Uh, I want to get into the vorticity maps here. This is for later in the week here. I'm going to jump ahead a few days here. Uh, GFS is showing something a little, uh, a little strange here with the evolution of this system. Actually, before we get to this, we're going to go into the uh, surface map just to show you what's going on here. This is for the Sunday Monday time frame. First things first, though, we have uh, Friday. It's going to be uh, high pressure to our south. We give us some mostly sunny conditions. Increasing clouds on Saturday ahead of our next system. And that's this one right here. You can see all the snow starting moving in from the west here. And uh, this kind of just hangs around and hangs around and hangs around. This is for over a period of three days. The GFS has it snowing here over our coverage area here. Not especially heavy at any given time, but consistently showing the snow. Uh, just sitting there and spinning. The reason we have that, going back to the vorticity map, you have a cutoff low here. Uh, every time you have these cutoff lows, they can do some crazy things here. Your flow over the top here is a general fast west to east flow here, but you do have a dip here, a little trough in the middle of a trough forming in the jet stream. And that's cut off from the flow. That's what's known as a cutoff flow. Here's your here is your area low pressure here that's cut off from that flow. Your southern jet is below it, so you have a disconnect here from between the jet streams. And this is just hanging in between here. It just has nowhere to go, so it just sits there and spins and spins and spins, and then you just get uh, precipitation falling on the on the uh, north side of that. And in this case, we're talking about snow. Now we had dealt with these in the past. They usually rain. They're usually rain. Uh, what we dealt with last spring, uh, last April, we had one of these come through, dumped a tremendous amount of rainfall over the same areas over and over and over again over a period of three or four days. Now, we're not saying this is definitely going to happen here, but uh, the GFS is at least hinting at that. The European model was hinting at that uh, in prior runs here. Uh, models are definitely all over the place with how this evolves. Some models have this thing coming in here and coming down into western PA and bringing some warm air into this system here. Uh, before it redevelops off the coast. So there's a couple different solutions to look at here, but the trend has been, uh, especially with the UK Met, 
which has nailed the last two storms, which is to turn this into a coastal storm eventually that moves up the coast here and dumps a, a pretty good amount of snowfall. So a lot of different solutions at the table here, a lot of time to look at this. We're talking about uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday time frame, and we really don't want to jump the gun yet on amounts or specula uh, speculation of, of amounts of snowfall or whether even not, or whether or not even remains all snow. We have to remain uh, wait and see what happens with the exact track of the system. And when we know something, we'll, of course, put the first call out by the very earliest that would be this Friday. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for February 4th, 2015. Have a great Wednesday.